Welcome to Val's Sweet Kitchen. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make the perfect flaky pie crust. This recipe is for a double crust pie. That is a bottom crust with a solid or decorated top. Don't put in the sugar and you can use it for a savory quiche, like a cream cheese and spinach quiche. Or you can use it for a chicken pot pie. So let's go have some fun. So there's a few different ways to mix it. You can either use a food processor or a bowl and pastry cutter or even forks and knives. I'm going to use the food processor here. Add three cups of flour and you'll want to use the blade with this. The razor edges is going to slice through everything for a better flakiness. If you use the plastic one, you might over mix the dough too much and you don't want to do that because gluten might form. So also into the bowl of your food processor, add two tablespoons of sugar. I'm making this for my perfect apple pie recipe and it uses cardamom. Also add a half a teaspoon of salt. You want to use either sea salt or regular table salt. Kosher salt has crystal, crystals that are very large and might not dissolve enough in the mixing baking process. So when you go to bite into a piece of pie, you get a spurt of salt in the bite. Not good. So then just give it a few pulses to mix all the dry ingredients. Now add in three fourths of a cup a very, very cold, unsalted butter straight out of the refrigerator. You'll want to cube it like this before adding it in and then only pulse it a few times. Cold butter is the key to flakiness and I'm just going to show you a few more things. And then also straight out of the refrigerator, a third cup of cold shortening or lard. I prefer lard. It's okay to eat on occasion, just not every day. And every day, it's not good for your heart for sure. So go ahead. And I use the water displacement method to measure mine. And pulse it a few more times until you get the consistency of grated Parmesan cheese with pea-sized butter chunks. Here, I'll show you. The butter chunks help with the flakiness. Then also add in a half a cup of chilled water along with your apple cider vinegar or lemon juice. And you're gonna pulse it in. A little bit at a time. Stop mixing it when it starts forming into chunks, just like this. And then you're gonna form it into two discs, wrap it in plastic and chill it. 30 minutes to an hour. It gives everything a time to rest. And lets the butter get cold again. All those bits of butter is gonna help with your flakiness and that's what you're looking for. is you're just gonna roll it out very gradually. And turn it a quarter turn every so often. That'll ensure that it doesn't stick to the mat. And you can close up your edges if they start to split, that's fine. So now, to get your pie crust into your pie plate, you're gonna roll it like that. Your first instinct is to push it down in, but what you wanna do is just let it go down into the plate all by itself. That way your crust stays even. And 
And then either with a knife or with some scissor shears, cut off and leave about an inch overhang. And then you're just gonna tuck under the edges. If you're gonna do a solid top, then wait till you put the crust over top to tuck under your edges. So you can tuck them under both at once. So raw pie crust will stay and keep in the refrigerator for three days. After that, freeze it and it'll stay in the freezer for five months. And all you need to do is take it out and let it sit on the counter to come to room temperature. I hope you enjoyed this video and please be sure to give it a like and subscribe to my channel. Leave your thoughts in the comments below. If you try this at home, I'd love to hear from you. Leave a comment about how it turned out or let me know if you had any questions. I'd love to share anything I can to help you in your baking adventures and have fun in your kitchen.